Hi boys and girls, I'm Mara, and I want to tell you my story, a story where a little kid switched from Mac OS and Windows to Linux. I started to use the Penguin back in 2007 with Ubuntu, original, right? Well, uh, I was only 8 at the time, so it was still hard for me. I didn't know anything about it, and also I didn't know English, still to this day, whatever. So, how did a little child learn to use it without knowing anything and how did I find Linux? So, back in 2007 there was an event called the Linux Day in my city. And my dad and I went to that event and I saw Ubuntu and I was curious about it. Also because I liked the orange palette and tux paint. When we come back to home, my, my dad delete my slow as fuck Windows XP installation to a super fast Ubuntu with GNOME 2. I used it from 2007 to 2009, after that I switched to a Stan Snow Leopard on a 2009 iMac. And it was very good, fast and reliable, I'm not going to lie, after so many updates and a slow hard drive, because it was an old hard drive, damn Apple, I decided in 2006 to switch back to a normal PC, the same as this one, it's an old PC, but whatever, with Windows 8 RTM, because at the time I wanted a fast and reliable system, and also because I didn't like Windows 10. Windows 8 was great, amazing, to be honest. I used Windows 8 for about two years, then because university, I switched to Windows 10, and I did enjoy it, I hate it, honestly, it was a pain. But lucky for me, in 2019, I decided to ditch Windows 10 completely for Fedora GNOME for about 5 years. Then I switched to a lot of distros until I stick with Arch Linux, and I didn't come back on Windows at all. At least when I'm Tom, because on my university slash workspace we are still using Windows 10, but that's about it. So, now, let's talk about my Linux usage from a day-to-day -day basis. Well, it's amazing, I don't have any problem with it, and I can do whatever I was doing when I was on Mac OS and Windows. All the software that I use are available native or through Wine, and they work great. This is my Arch install, I'm using Hyperland. Before that I use Gnome and KDE, you will find some videos on my channel. But I'm stick with Hyperland because for my workflow is better like this. Hyperland is super fast on my machine, and I love the tilling features, that's all. It's amazing, at least for me. Some people prefer to use desktop environment, that's fine, I don't care. Well, you can use whatever you want, Linux is about freedom, so you can use whatever you want. I'm using Arch and not Fedora anymore because I'm too lazy to switch back to Fedora. Arch Linux is not a bad distro, I really enjoy it, but Fedora was better for me. I'm too lazy to switch back and also because I have every single software that I need working on this distro, so I, I don't care. I'm going to use Arch, it's fine for me. So wha what are the software that I use on, daily, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, Firefox, a normal browser that is available on Windows and Mac OS. When I was a child, I always used Firefox, even on Mac OS. I didn't like Safari at all, it was slow. Simple app like Spotify, Steam, DaVinci Resolve, GIMP, a lot of apps. I don't find any problem with this. I think the only problem that I have from switching from Mac OS and Windows to Linux it was Premiere Pro because uh, at my university we studied Premiere Pro. So for me it was a pain to actually switch to DaVinci Resolve. Not because DaVinci Resolve is a bad program, actually it's a very good program, but I used to work with that program and switch back to another program. <laughs> But was not, not easy for me. It works great. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to cross every, these, these things because who cares? So, DaVinci. Also, I'm using DaVinci with an old hardware, so the experience is not great. But it works just fine. I'm using the studio version of DaVinci because I need it. That's all. It is working just fine on my machine. I can use it. It's totally fine. Other thing that I use a lot is Spotify. Spotify is a normal music client that is available on Windows. And I listen to a lot of metalcore, metal, deathcore, metal, pop, whatever I like. I usually stick to metalcore. Other app that I use is Discord, on using desktop. I'm using desktop because I can actually screen share my desktop with audio. Because the original version on Discord can't do that. 
I'm using Telegram. I'm using GIMP, as I said before. I use GIMP because for me is I use GIMP because it's good enough for me. I don't need Photoshop anymore. I used to use Photoshop all the time, but for me GIMP is just enough. I make every single thumbnail with this program, and for me it's good. That's all. Autodesk Maya for 3D modeling is the native version because Maya has a native version for Linux and it works great on Arch. VMware Workstation, if I need a Windows VM for some stuff, usually I don't, but whatever. I don't want to talk about this. Warp, it's a great program. I made a video about it. Okay, not really. I made a, like a one minute clip of this app. It's very good. Flat seal for flat pack up, upscale for upscaling the images. I use this a lot for my thumbnail. Spotify, as I said before, DaVinci, as I said before, GTK settings, GitHub desktop, because I usually use the command line for GitHub, but I still prefer to use a GUI app if I can, because it's easier, faster for me, it works better for my workflow. I'm using a GUI app, who cares? Lutris for game, Eurite for game, Bottles for Windows app and games, List is a music player. And also uh, I have the full affinity uh, the full affinity apps, affinity designer, affinity photo, and affinity pu publisher. They work great on wine, but I'm still using GIMP. I paid for affinity, so I'm going to actually use it. It works just fine on wine. Audacity, if I need to record my voice, Bitop is just a task manager. Okay, it's not all a task manager, but I use it uh, as a task manager. Cheese for the webcam. I'm not going to show my face today because I have an ugly face. File Roller is just uh, an archiver. That's all. Firefox, Quantum for some team, Gparted for the partition. Tuner is a file manager. KDN Live, if I don't want to use DaVinci, like for a video like this, I'm going to use KDN Live. It's faster. That's all. Kitty is my terminal, MPV is my media player, NeoVim, if I don't want to use VS Code for some easy stuff, I'm going to use NeoVim. Parabolic for downloading YouTube videos. Cubic Torrent, I don't want to talk about that, if you know what I mean. Pulse Audio, that is Resolve is a container with Fedora 37, because the initial Resolve only works on Fedora 37. I don't know why, at least in my experience, I'm, I need to use a DistroBox, DistroBox so a container with DaVinci Resolve in order to make DaVinci Resolve working on my machine. RPC S3 is a PS3 emulator that I use all the time. I have still a PS3 because I made some, some streaming with my PS3. But uh, sometimes I'm going to use the emulator if I want to play a game with 60 FPS, uh, don't care about trophies. Steam for games, obviously. Virtual Puppet Project is a VTuber type app because I want to actually try it. Visual Studio Code is, a, is Visual Studio Code. Satura is a PDF viewer. These are my apps. And usually my workflow consists of I power on my PC, I'm going to a terminal, I type the update thing, I'm going to do some update because I'm using Arch, so I need to actually update my Arch system. I'm using the KakiOS repos because are faster on my system. I'm going to do some update. After that, I'm going to use Firefox if I want to actually browse the internet, if I want to play some games teams, if I want to dev something, I'm going to open Visual Studio Code. If I want to actually edit my config file for Hyperland, I'm going to use NeoVim. Uh, with uh, NVChad, just because it's faster for me. That, that's all. This is my day-to-day -day basis. I don't do anything crazy. Everyone can use Linux, at least for me, everyone can use it. If you don't care about professional app, you can actually switch from Windows and Mac OS to Linux. Because for some people, an operating system is just a bootloader for your web browser. So you can actually install Linux Mint with Firefox and don't care about anything. Linux is just perfect. If people say that Linux is not good, they are wrong. Not because 
I'm using Linux all the time, but because it's the truth. If you're a normal user, that only need a web fucking browser for email, YouTube, music. You can use Linux. You don't need a bloatware called Windows 11 or Windows 10 if you if you don't like Windows 10 like myself. Mac OS is is a bit different because even though it has a lot of bloatware, it's not as win. It's not as the same as Windows. Mac OS is actually not that bad. Okay. It share the same field of philosophy, but it's not that bad as Windows. You can use you can use Linux. So is this the this is the end of this video, I guess, because I don't know what, what to speak. This is just my setup. That's all. I want to talk about my little story with Linux. Yes, I was eight at the time. I didn't know English, and I still learn to use Linux. I don't know how, but I still use it. Bye bye, guys. Uh, if you like my content, make sure to leave a like. Leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, um, that's all I guess.